Shall we? Ah, uh, good, not hungry. Uh, not hungry? Uh, you? You're never not hungry. Eat on way home. Grub chased some dogs on the way home. You haven't been eating dogs again, have you, Grub? Grub, no, eat dogs. Eat poodle. I <laughs> spent nanoseconds slaving over a hot electron agitator to make you a nourishing yet tasty meal, and you come home to tell me you've eaten it not big, poodle. That's <laughs> not the point. You two run around outside all day having fun while I'm stuck in here. Do you think I'm happy looking at this world through a view screen? You should get out more, Quiggle. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> all right. From now on, nobody leaves this bus unless I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, is it, Grub? <laughs> Why, may I ask? <laughs> well, Quiggle got no legs! Quiggle no walk! That's your problem to fix. You too, Eben. You're both grounded. You don't go outside unless I do too. So, how's the chilli? Mm. Lovely. Um, I had a really big lunch. Yeah, it's great, Dad, but I've had this stomach ache all day. <laughs> Did I mention I I've become vegetarian? <laughs> well, you may not like my cooking, but I do. <clears throat> Martin, you haven't told everyone about your surprise. Oh, yes. Ta -da! What's that? A new tent. I've taken Monday off. That gives us three whole days. We are going camping. Just like we used to. Camping? <laughs> With you two? Well, what if somebody saw us? We've got kids' breakfast on Saturday. I don't care. This family never does anything together anymore. TV shows ruining our lives. Uh, but we, we... we can go straight after the show. But No more buts. We are going camping and we are going to enjoy it. Boring. 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 Why weren't you two at the production meeting? We've been earthed. Do you mean grounded? That is correct. And they're not leaving the space bus again unless I come too. But they've got a show to do tomorrow. Good. I'd love to be there. Make it so. <laughs> we can't take you into the studio. Maybe and Grub only get away with it because everyone thinks they're actors in suits. Of well, we couldn't use that with you. You're too alien. But if I spend one more day locked up in this ship, I'll go crazy. Well, what do you want us to do? Pretend you're a baby in a rubber suit? We could pass him as a toy. A toy? That's totally demeaning. I refuse. Well, it's that or nothing. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Let's go. Well, how are we going to move him? We'll put him in a dish on a billy cart. What's a billy cart? <laughs> An ingenious earth transport device. Sounds fascinating. Do you have one? Well, no, but we could make one. <gasps> Clever, Rodney. <laughs> what do you mean how I spell green? The colour green. G R E E N. Yes, like the colour. Thank you very much. Idiot. Well, I've booked us in at the Rocky Point camping ground. Three days of bushwalking, swimming, fishing. Sitting by the campfire. Can you see my old shopping trolley? Uh, I think it's in the laundry. Now, where's that old cooking pot we used to have? Uh, Lucy, I think we should be going mm -hmm. now. 
Ah, uh, why are you coming straight back after the show? We want to hit the road as soon as possible. Yeah, OK. Well, I found it. What happened to the wheels? <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Quingle soup! Wheels on wheels. <laughs> oh, show some respect for your elders, Rodney. How do I control this uh, billy cart? You don't, I do. How primitive, how embarrassing, how... Do you want your big day out or not? How wonderful of you to go to all this trouble. Now, Quiggle, remember, you're supposed to be a toy and toys are basically stupid. So you can only say simple things like, Greetings, Earthling, take me to your leader. Try it. Rodney, I don't think my... Try it. Greetings, Earthling, take me to your leader. Good. How embarrassing. <laughs> At last, fresh air, the sky, the sun. Ooh, so bright. Rodney, do you have any sunglasses? I'm looking for the one-eyed brain. This is what I've been missing: new sights, new sounds, the joy of never knowing what's around the next corner. Pratt's coming. Rodney, get Quiggle out of sight. Hi, Mr. Pratt. What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing. We're pretending nothing's happening until you go away. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed home. Ah! Oh, 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 Big hairy beast approaching. Get back! I don't have time to waste with you, lot. Out of the way. It's all right, Quiggle. Don't be frightened. It'll take more than that to scare me. Oh, let's get me back. Big Rodney. Oh, no. Hurry. Get me out of here. Come this primitive thing. Don't go any faster. Where are we going now? What did they hear? You take me to see your leader? Are they all your leaders? You poor athletes. That looks interesting. Can we go in there? Rodney, slow down. I can't see anything. Rodney, I ordered you to snap, Rodney. Who's that? It's a drink machine. Greetings, Dr. Pepper. Why won't you talk to me? We're both scientists. He must be jealous because I'm out and he's still in. <laughs> Quiggle, we have to go into the studio now and do the show. Bye. No, wait. I want to come too. Please. You're supposed to be a toy, so just watch the monitor and don't talk to anybody. <sighs> Greetings, Earthlings. What is this? A toy. Um, a friend. A friend brought it back from overseas. <laughs> It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Ugly? Me? Captain Quiggle? Federation Battle Cruiser Commander? It's a, it's a of digital the... voice activated response uh, me mechanism. And a gigabyte memory bank of a pre programmed vocal responses. What do you know about this, Philip? Well, I mean, I, I have seen one before, you know, but uh, I've never. Tell seen... us where, Mr. Smuddy Pence. <laughs> oh, I like it. Let's put it on today's show. I. I don't think that'd be such a good idea. But I insist. And Rodney, seeing as you brought it, you can do the toy review. Mum, I always do the toy review. Uh, Rodney, what is this thing called? My name is Quiggle. Captain Quiggle, dear lady. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Philip. Did you hear that? She thought I was amazing. I think she fancies me. <laughs> And welcome to Kids Breakfast. <laughs> I'm Niba from the planet Eba. And here's my favorite gulper and slurper from the planet Urgle, Grog. It's a kiddies! And here's the fabulous Philip. Hello, Philip. Haven't we got a wonderful show today? Yeah, right. Oh, Philip's sad. On Urgle, when we sad, we share digestive fluids! <laughs> Never mind, Philip. Oh, somebody, 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 somebody. Now somebody. he's Rodney with today's toy review. Thanks, Meba. Hi, kids. Today I've got a great new toy that's so advanced, it seems almost alive. It's called a Quiggle. Say hello, Quiggle. <laughs> Hello, Quiggle! No, no, say hello to the kids out there. 
Hello to the kids out there. Where you go? Stop being stupid. You told me to be a toy, and you said toys were stupid, so I'm being stupid, stupid. <laughs> Quiggle, right now there are millions and millions of people watching. Millions? Children of Earth. If each of you could ask your parents to send one kilogram of rocket fuel to me, Quiggle, care of this television... Quiggle, I think you better just go down. Get back down! Me. I can't you... me. Step Get aside! Down. Rodney! Who's that? Let a professional show what? you how it's done. Oh, not you too. Ow! Stop that. Hi, kids, and welcome to Fab Feels Toy Review. This week's toy comes all the way from overseas, and it's really... He just said that, really... you idiot. He just said toy review before. Well... You better be careful, or I'll shut you down. The only thing that you could do is shut your mouth! Oh, well, at least I've got one. Where are your batteries? Hey, watch it. Oh, no, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Get your hand out of there! Oh, uh, see, uh, yuck, it slimed me. Oh, what did you expect? Oh, look what it's done. <laughs> stop off me. Oh, maybe you should sing the national anthem. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Who's the leader? Yeah, of that's the today's tour of you! Kids, uh, over to you, Reba! Right, um, I'm back, everybody! Oh, that's the car loaded. I can't wait to get on the road. The show should be finished soon. I'll just make sure we pack enough food. We will be away from civilization. This week's toilet, you kids. Hey, Martin. Isn't that our cooking pot? And that's all we have time for this week. See you next week, kids. Say goodbye, Quiggle. Goodbye, Quiggle. And goodbye to you, misery guts. And we're out! Great show, guys. Hey, Rodney, this Quiggle stuff's funny. <laughs> yes, I was incredibly good, wasn't I? <laughs> Kevin! Oh, darling, look, that's wonderful. I love the way it's going, particularly it's that... Philip. Uh, hey, Quiggle, you've had to add him back to the space box. But, uh, Rodney, so much more I want to see. I understand Africa has some very interesting animals. <laughs> Great work, team. Rodney, you and that ventriloquist doll, or whatever it is, have a great future in television. I want to see you both on the show next week. Um, I, I don't think that'd be a, a great idea. No, <laughs> it was just a one song. Don't listen to them. I'm available. Call my agent. We'll start off with a weekly spot, then a world tour. How about Africa? <laughs> great stuff. Di, talk them round. I just want them on next week. Keep it up. Mom. We're doing my, you know, celebrity holiday segment next week. Live from Tahiti. Whose ridiculous idea was that? Yours. Well, the basic concept was sound, but I want to go with the Quiggle phenomenon. Let's do lunch. <laughs> Build the whole show around him. <laughs> Great stuff. Mom, what Mr. Howard wants, Mr. Howard gets. Look, let's start putting down some ideas for next week's show. Dottie, you can't have Quiggle back on the show again. I mean, if he becomes famous, it'll be impossible to live with. Mm -hmm. Rodney, how can a toy be impossible to live with? Oh, they can be very impossible yes. to live with. Yeah, Let yeah, me train several here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Then we'll import one. It's the only one on the planet. Mm. Then we'll make a copy. I'll take it over to the workshop. Where is it? <gasps> Find it! <gasps> this is nothing, Captain Quiggle. You survived the space bus full of children on the last day of the school year. You can survive this. Oh, <laughs> this. <laughs> Shoots! Oh, through here, guys. Come on. Hey, hey, guys, come on. Billy Cup, let's get it. Oh, 
Oh, surely check this out. Greetings, Earthling. I'm delighted to see you. Leave that and help me. No, this is that new Quiggle toy I seen on Kids Breakfast. It's a little kid's show. No, no I wasn't watching it. My sister was. Yeah, sure. Just, just give me a hand with this, will you? Senna, grab the other end. What about me? Excuse me. Excuse me. And you morons going to rescue me? Morons? Do you want to swear that calls you a moron, Angelo? No, I, 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 I didn't mean moron. I think you misunderstood me. You're obviously highly intelligent beings, kind, generous, helpful to those in need. You pay for this, you mutinous space scum! I'm not scared. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> Team. Me either. Oh, no. Hit nothing, canteen! Keep looking. But what about Mum and Dad and the, and the camping trip? Lucy, quick look and die if his nutrient fluid dries up. We have to find him. I hope you two have an explanation that would prevent me from being extremely angry. We had an agreement. Your mother and I have been waiting for an hour. Well, it's too late to get to the coast before dark now, so congratulations, the camping trip's off. D Dad, we've lost something really important. We just have to find it. We'll keep, keep looking for it. The only thing you'll be finding is the inside of your bedrooms. You're grounded. Me, but Quiggle's not back. I'm going to look for him. But we're grounded. Oh, keep Mum and Dad in bed. Cook them breakfast or something. I'll have to find Quiggle. <sighs> me? Cook? Straight, you fool. Whoa! Hey, Angelo, look who's here. Hello, Shorty. What do you want, Green? Hey, what do you want, Green? Th that's my cart. Did it have your name on it? Yeah, does it have your name on it? No. Look, I, I just need to know where you found it. Why should we tell you anything? Yeah, why should we tell you anything? Well, if you tell me, I'll let you keep it. I already got it. Yeah, we are oh, shut, shut up, up Angelo. Angelo. Shorty, if you tell me where you found it, I'll, I'll do your homework for all the next turn.
There was wind, there was uh, rain, there was madness all around, and I was keeping the vicious earth creatures at bay with an energy weapon that I cleverly constructed from garbage when Rodney arrived and <gasps> rescued me. <gasps> yeah, Rodney! Yes, Rodney! Woo! Was Quigo scared? I'm scared of nothing and no one, Grub. But I can never leave the space bus again. If anything happened to me, who would look after you two? <sighs> We're so happy you're safe, Quigo. We missed you. Oh, did you really? You know, that's all I ever wanted to hear. Oh. Cook breakfast now. But of course, Grub. Rodney, you must stay and celebrate my heroic escape. Sorry, Quiggle. There's something important I have to do. Bye, Rodney! <laughs> it's about time. It smells good. <laughs> Put them back in the pan, Lucy. I don't think they're done. Look, you know I can't cook. Did you find Quiggle? Yep. <sighs> Poor guy was stuck in a pile of rubbish all night. He said he just wanted to get out because he felt unappreciated. A bit like that, I guess. Lucy, what's that smell? Keep them busy. Oh. Is everything OK out there? Uh, yes, we're, we're nearly finished. Why did, why did you go back to bed? I think I'll just have a little look. I uh, know. I don't think that would be such a good idea. Why what, what, what don't you have some tea? Seven cups is enough, thanks. You sure there isn't something burning? No, I mean, yes, I mean, your bed looks awfully nice and warm. Why did you go back in it? Lucy! <laughs> uh, okay. This is just to show you both that we really do appreciate you. And to say sorry for yesterday. Now, you, you sit down, relax, eat, but we're going to pack the car. It's not too late to go camping. Camping? Yes. Camping. We're quiggly looking forward to it, aren't we, Lucy? Yeah, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Thank you.